What is going on guys? It's your boy Pecum Fun Fan 97 and sorry for my raspy voice. Uh, I am a little sick, so sorry for that. You might want to turn up the volume so you guys can hear this awesome tutorial. And I'll be showing you guys how to use the green screen slash blue screen effect in the new iMovie. So you're gonna have to have your green screen effect and your backdrop, your background that you're gonna be using for this. So the first thing is you're gonna have those two files. Now your green screen effect, in this case I am using the nuclear explosion. So it's going to look like that. Uh, and then, you know, pretty simple. And then just a plain uh, city right here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and drag the background. So drag it into the timeline. So you always want to do your background first. Well, it doesn't really matter, but you kind of do want to put this first. <laughs> and then have your green screen effect. Now, if you click the plus icon, this will add a portion of the clip. It won't add the whole entire footage. So be a warning of that. You know, just be aware of that because if you just select like a range, this will also add a portion. If you want to select the whole clip, you just uh, click off of it and press command and then click. And then it will highlight everything, which means that the whole uh, clip is selected. So you can drag the whole footage and I'm going to drag it um, like two seconds in or so. Uh, and then uh, this green screen effect is only about three seconds. So select your green screen slash blue screen or whatever in this case you're going to be using. Uh, and then right here where it says adjust, click on that. Go to the very first uh, icon. It should be the, uh, what's it called? The overlay settings, video overlay settings. Click on the first one. And then where it says cut away, click green slash blue screen. And this will remove the green uh, backdrop and just have the actual effect taken place. The softness... Um, if you have it to zero like this, it will be very sharp. The uh, effect will be sharp and pretty much it will look very detailed. If you add more softness, this, this will uh, make it more round on the outside. Uh, so let me go ahead and drag this in and you can see it is starting to soften it. So it looks a little more realistic. Clean up. Uh, if you have this selected, you will see that there is four dots on the outside. Now this is pretty much the crop tool. Like you can take a, a portion of your green screen effect out of it. In this case, I only have one thing in my green screen effect, which is the nuclear blast. So if I were to move it in closer, it starts to remove part of that. So I know that if I move forward, that it's going to continue to the top. So if I were to move it down, I don't want to crop that out. So I want to make this up. You know, it's kind of common sense. So if I were to move this uh, oh, kind of forward, now I know that it's not, you know, coming through the lines, which is good. So I can move it like this and this will, it, like this works better if you have particles or anything of that sort that are coming down and you want to kind of crop that out, you can do that. The eraser tool, this will pretty much, um, like it will erase some parts of the green screen. So maybe you don't want like a few stuff. But since this is one whole footage, it will kind of erase most of it. So I'm not going to do that. Um, and this is pretty much, it will just go back. It will reset everything you've done. And this means it will place it. Now, you, I'm going to get a lot of comments on how do you move the actual effect. And the, and the answer is no, you cannot, which really sucks. I know. Now, I would really use like Final Cut or something else like After Effects, which is really amazing with this like... After Effects is really good with handling green screen effect. iMovie, not the best. I wouldn't recommend it. So, but if you guys do want to use it, go ahead, be my guest. But uh, yeah, you can't move green screen or any, you can't move it. Like it's just stuck there, which I don't know. If you guys do know how to move it, go ahead and leave a comment and I can kind of refer to my subscribers and tell them how to do it. So if I were to play it from the beginning, press space, you can see that kind of blows up from the city. And it just goes away. Um, so, yeah, I mean, there's not a lot to it. Uh, if I want to make it more realistic, I can drag it to the very end. So we'll kind of go out of the frame like that. But, I mean, it that's how you basically use a green screen if you were to use it in iMovie. And if this helped you in any way, go ahead and leave a like in the description. Leave a rating below. Share some love, you know, spread the word so other people can see it. Subscribe if you haven't because I post videos a lot like this and I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace.